Now to that scare at a mall in Houston, sending panic crowds running into the streets. People are especially on edge in the wake of those mass shootings last week. Oh and Lindsay Davis is here with more. And Lindsay, police are searching for the suspect who caused this. That's right. They certainly are. Good morning to you, Michael. Houston police say this time the suspect has not been located, but they have numerous witnesses and are continuing to investigate. They are treating this as a terroristic threat and desperately want to find the person behind this pandemonium. They're oh shooting! Go! Mass panic at a busy Houston mall. Shoppers sprinting into oncoming traffic. Oh my God. Trying to escape what they believed was an active shooter. But in reality, just the latest example of a nation on edge. Police say it all started when a masked man jumped onto a table at the food court, threatening to take his own life, then dropped an unidentified object on the ground, causing mass panic. The stampede caused two minor injuries. Authorities are now searching for the suspect and labeling the incident as a terrorist threat. After back-to-back -back mass shootings, communities around the country are restless. Last week in Times Square, a loud popping sound caused hundreds to flee the area. In reality, it was a motorcycle backfiring. And it was like pretty much a stampede of people just sprinting as fast as they could. The FBI is also on high alert with concerns of copycat attacks. Domestic violence extremists inspired by the recent mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton committing their own acts of terror. Late last week, this 20-year-old was arrested at this Missouri Walmart after entering the store carrying a loaded military-style rifle and wearing body armor, sparking mayhem. Police say he wanted to test the boundaries of his Second Amendment rights. Police say a 16 year old boy and his mother both suffered minor injuries in that mall scare. The mother was reportedly stepped on several times on her back as she was trying to help her son. Authorities say the suspect is described as a white male in his teens or early 20s. Just creates a dangerous situation all the way around. For sure. So many people just being nervous when they hear yeah, this noise. At first they thought it was gunfire, then they thought it was fireworks. Really scary. A lot scary of people on edge. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right. Go. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.